All right, friends. Uh, so Anthropic announced that now they can have a computer use. What does it mean, a computer use? I mean, this is an entire blog uh, came out today that they are announcing Cloud 3.5, their newest version, Sonnet, and they are allowing computer use uh, capabilities. What does it mean? There is an entire video of how to use computer for automating the operations. What does it mean is we can have Cloud do the work on our behalf. What does it mean? Let's say if I want to click on this research and I click and I get this page. Now, Claude can do that on our behalf. Or if I want to go to Google and I want to search for something that how to learn AI. Now, I'm doing that work. Claude can do it for us. That is what they meant by computer use. That means whatever human is able to do on a computer, Claude can go through that. Click here, click there, click there. Again, it's an experimental, but uh, it's still refreshing to see that this kind of functionality is available in Claude as a, as a preview mechanism. So what I have planned for this video is I will walk you through on how to do it in a very rudimentary level, but at least we will have a working code which is exist uh, on the public GitHub and, and then I'll walk you through of how to do it. So first thing first, what uh, I will need is I'll need uh, a terminal. So let me make sure I have a terminal. So I have a terminal and I'm exporting my Anthropic API key. Now, this is a demo key, so I'm gonna delete it anyway after this video. I'm exporting in locally and make sure that I have my environment variable set as an Anthropic API key set. Cool, uh, that is done. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a, a Docker container. Why I'm doing this is I'm doing this locally on my laptop, on my MacBook, and uh, they have created this Docker container for testing purpose. And then the reason is we can we can extend this further. That's nothing wrong with that. But the reason is this is still an experimental program what they are giving us and it could have a lot of security bugs loopholes and when when ai is trying to get into your computer that means they might be able to do many things which we may not expect so what we want to do rather is we want to do it in a contained environment and a contained environment is nothing but containers so this is what i have so far i'm simply doing a docker run uh, launching an api or giving an api key what i have setting the home for container and exposing few ports so that I can interact with uh, various services. Think what you might be familiar, people who are familiar, 8080 is typically a web server, 8501 is typically uh, uh, a UI which is running streamly, something in, along the line. 1500 is primarily used for VNC. VNC is a protocol for remote into a computer. Those who are used to like remote into a Windows machine, for example, you might be familiar with VNC as one of the protocol and 6080 is similar in for VNC where you can do remotely or not. So these two are mainly for VNC, 8501 is for Streamlit and 8080 is standard web server. And uh, what we are doing is we are simply put, pulling that uh, image from uh, the, the Docker Hub. <laughs> well, I'm forgetting this. Uh, we are pulling that image uh, GCHR, Docker Hub, and, and pulling into my local machine. Now, just be aware that I have already pulled this image once, so it would not pull that image again. But if you are doing it for, for the first time, uh, it will take about 10, 15 minutes, depends on uh, how long uh, your, what is your internet connection and what is the BZ from the hub point of view. But mine is already pulled in, so it's already starting the service. And uh, once we have the service, we'll see in a second of what it actually is doing. But it's starting a display, and then literally when we say display colon one, it's exporting the display so that we can use it in our local host. And it's starting a few other services like VNC, I said earlier, like port 5900 is for VNC. And it's also starting no VNC for uh, 6080. And our demo is ready. So, and it's running on port. 8080 on my local machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Firefox, uh, open up localhost 8080. Hopefully things would work. 
yeah it is working somewhat security alert never provide this is a security disclaimer what they want to say that never provide access to a sensitive account or a data malicious web content can hijack cloud's behavior so this is what we have on the left side is our sort of a chat window if you think from a, this is a streamlit app for those who are familiar with streamlit and what do we see on the right side is actually the computer or the screen of a computer right and uh, maybe we can ask a question uh, what do you see on a computer maybe it will give us some answer okay so what it's doing is it's applying some sort of an agent mechanism and let me scroll up it's the input to the agent is action and the screenshot and finally we have okay it's seeing a desktop environment with a dark blue dari 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 a spreadsheet calculator a console a firefox pdf viewer icon text editor and, and so forth now remember this is not my desktop this is something a demo version what anthropic has provided right so we are not bounded by this if we change that to my desktop we will see lot many things and and at some point i'll create that video in next day or so to to showcase how it looks on my desktop or some other desktop now what we may want to do is uh, maybe ask it to launch a browser and do some search for us okay then let's say can you open up uh, a browser and do a google.com search for us where the search question is how to learn ai in 5 days let's see if it works again i have not tried this <laughs> exact thing but let's see what it's coming up with an answer here so it's still running as we see it here so it's launching a browser so this is the default browser as a part of that overall process while it's opening up the browser okay it's doing some search okay it's going to google.com good and now uh, i'm hoping it would type that question what we ask about how to learn ai in 5 days now i'm not typing anything right my my hands are off so in case you are seeing that okay it's something i'm doing i'm literally my hands are tied as you can see here and uh, Uh, let's see if we are able to get that answer it's only opening google.com i have not seen any question typed in so far okay maybe we need to provide that input uh, who knows or maybe not uh, okay okay you are doing this you are doing this bad request okay input validation request okay let me rephrase this okay uh, now on the google search type how to learn ai in 5 days and hit enter maybe this will work let's see and uh, this failed as well error invalid request error this action is restricted for safety reason at this time all right we understand that can you not do a search then okay let's do can you open up perplexity.com and search for how to learn ai in 5 days come on let's see give me something no not even that bad request all right uh, let's try again can you open a browser and go to perplexity.com let's see if this simple thing works okay that doesn't work either all right a bad input maybe i need to restart things uh, let's see what i have on the console uh probably not but let me close it i will restart the process for your own advantage and let's see how we land so giving a 30 second at best here i'm trying to understand why things didn't work what it should have worked 
uh, streamlit run your script.py i don't need to do that it's waiting for things to be ready okay it's ready uh, what we are going to do is okay it's connected now let's get rid of this guy maybe let me refresh this to see things are all clean okay all clean let me type the command again open a browser and go to a website https colon slash slash perplexity.com and search for how to learn ai uh, let's keep it simple <coughs> excuse me uh, hopefully this would go as planned all right as we can see it's progressing at least the first part is progressing what we saw last time as well we got a firefox it's taking an action mouse move okay i'm not moving mouse uh, it's doing on its own okay okay we got to a perplexity uh would it search now that we are on perplexity i will search okay it is doing the search for us so probably it couldn't do a google search i don't know why but at least we see how to learn AI, a question prompted to the perplexity AI. Cool. And then we see the answers as well. And hopefully, would you scroll this up and down so that I can read? Would you not? Okay. Oh, it is scrolling. So I see number one, number two, number three. It is scrolling on our behalf. I'm not scrolling at all. I don't have control of that browser inside that uh, Linux box. And I see number four and number five as well. Wow. Okay, I'm sure there are many, many things and it would be probably scrolling further uh, to show us what exactly it is. But if we see from those who are technical enough, uh, it's taking input as an action uh, and a screenshot. So it's practically showing us taking a scroll, taking a screenshot and then bringing on our screen, taking a doing a scroll, taking a screenshot and bringing on our screen. So it's all good in my book for now. I mean, this is amazing what a simple anthropic agent can do. I mean, there are many, many agents are exist and, and many companies are building such agents. But something like this doesn't, uh, to, to do it in a, in a simplest way, like I could, I could do it in, in like what, half an hour? That's mind boggling. So hope you learned something today as a part of this whole process. Go check it out, how to do this uh, uh, on your own. Uh, there is an entire GitHub repository. If you want to try it out, uh, there is the Git. There is a Git, there is a Git, there is a Git. Mm, yep, build and test software. Oh no, this is only a YouTube here. We don't need a YouTube. Go, 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 go away. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, we don't need YouTube. Come on. No, I don't need oat milk. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, there should be a uh, github otherwise let me see github anthropic computer use uh, yeah google search still works and boom we got it uh, this is the quick start you can use this as is if you prefer and make changes right i mean i expect you to make changes you are uh, smart enough to make those changes but go through this it's easy enough to to make changes uh, and and build your own agents all right. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you in the next one.